If you want to create AI art like this without having to pay for any subscription, then keep watching. Today, I'm going to walk you through the process of installing automatic 11.11 Swib UI for using Stable Diffusion on MacBooks. So before I dive into the installation, I'll give you a quick overview of what Stable Diffusion is. It is a deep learning text to image model that is completely open sourced, which means that you can access it for free, unlike other generative art tools like Mid Journey or DALI. You can try it out online on stablediffusionweb.com. You don't have to pay for it or set up anything, but you don't get a lot of controls that you would otherwise get if you run it locally on your machine. And oftentimes there are a large number of users on the web version, which means that you may have to wait for a longer time in order to generate your images, but it's a good starting point if you want to play around with it. For this tutorial, you'll need an M1 or M2 chip. It's not necessary but it's recommended otherwise the performance of the model will be very very slow it, you'll also need 8 gb or more of ram and 128 gb or more of storage space if you meet these requirements you should be able to easily install and use stable diffusion on your macs without any problems for the first step you'll need to install some dependencies for stable diffusion and to install that we'll be using homebrew if you don't have it installed already visit brew.sh and follow the instructions here to install it all you need is to copy this command here and run it in your terminal it might take some time to install but once it's done you can run this command to install the dependencies installing these dependencies might take a while so you can come back to it once it's done now that i have the dependencies installed i'm going to clone the repository for the stable diffusion web ui again you need to open your terminal and and enter into the directory where you want the ui to be installed and run this command git clone and this url i've given all the commands in the description box below once the UI is installed, the next step is to download some models. I've left some links for the models in the description box. For example, you go to the Dream Shaper model on civetai.com and you click download. You need to place this models in the stable diffusion web UI slash models slash stable diffusion directory remember that every time you download a new model you'll need to place those models in this directory right here so now we have downloaded everything that we need and we are ready to launch the actual ui in order to do that execute this command dot slash web ui dot sh note that you should run this command from inside the stable diffusion web ui directory this command will activate a python virtual environment using venv and install any missing dependencies if any once it's done you can go to localhost 7860 which is where you will be able to see the user interface in order to start Stop this application all you have to do is press command c from inside the terminal and this will stop the server if you want to relaunch the web ui at a later time you can again simply run the command whenever you want to use it dot slash web ui dot sh and that's it now you can start generating your own ai art locally on your machines for free if you found this helpful you can check out my other videos linked over here